Hey, it's Anfa, and this will be a short one. Uh, someone requested that I show him how to make a vinyl record scratch sound, and I thought, well, let's try it out. So I have Zenat Sub Effects 3.0 opened. This is Zenfusion, a new interface. And I have my MIDI keyboard connected. This is the same synthesizer, the same Zenat Sub Effects, but it has a different interface because everything now is rooted through OSC, Open Sound Control, so it can be uh, driven with any interface you want. I guess one could even create a web interface for Zenat Sub Effects if he wants. So let's think. Huh. We want to make sound like a scratched vinyl. So we need some broadband signal because scratched vinyl is basically the sound of at least the noise of the record or sometimes just noise or some music that is changing the speed. So you're changing the speed of the playback and all the pitch of the material goes up and down. So we need to change pitch and we need a broadband signal. So let's try a saw wave for our bass sound. So this is VC1. I'm gonna use VC2. This is the voice two. Uh, oh, I probably have two of them. So I'm gonna ink the voice, yeah. First voice, let's make it silent. Can you hear it? I'm gonna make the whole thing louder. Ah, uh, better? Better now? Better? Better now? All right, should be good. So we have the voice two, which is gonna be a saw wave. Here's a saw wave. And now we need to make this wider in spectrum, but probably like hopefully more noise-like because this is too much of a regular normal sound. So let's use modulation. I'm gonna use phase modulation and use the voice one, which is this one. And the cool thing now is I can change the voice one to noise. And we basically have a saw wave modulated, frequency modulated, sorry, phase modulated by noise. Uh, we also can use DC offset, but well, we probably would need. Okay, that doesn't do anything. Pink noise is gonna be even nicer. However, that's too much, so I'm gonna go to voice two. And in voice two, I'm gonna lower the amount of modulation. Also, I wanna disable the velocity sensing. So for quiet notes and loud, we have the same amount of phase modulation. Alrighty, that could do. could also try yeah, giving this two unison voices with tiny, tiny amount of detune. <laughs> it's actually a, a fun little patch for playing synth chords. Alrighty, so what do we need now? We need to change the pitch of this stuff up and down. Let's see, we have voice frequency. We could use an LFO, let's try it. This, these are randomness, some amplitude randomness and frequency randomness. We also have a Lopus filter, the global filter. So I'm going to global, filter. That's our filter and it's got Velocity sensing, so I disabled this. All right, so uh, 
our LFO uh, yeah, voice frequency always starts at the same place, which is <laughs> well, silly. Um, all right, kind of, sort of, but we need to make this monophonic. So I'm going to go legato, maybe. And we can also enable portamento. I'm playing different notes. You can see the keyboard. Just two notes. We can lower the portamento time. I think we can get some interesting sounds from this that sound like scratches, scratch, like record scratches. Mm, I, f I wonder what else we could do uh, to make this more, more real. Maybe let's try a little bit of distortion. So I'm going to insert an effect for part one, distortion. Let's not use any time-based effects because that's going to break the illusion of us playing with a record. Well, that's still way too much. Also, we have... We have no stereo. that's still too much. We could maybe uh, make our uh, LFO more aggressive or have ourselves another pitch LFO because we can have one for the voice, which is this one, and we can also have the global one, which is here. Now we have two pitch LFOs, one on top of another. Give them LF. Let's give this one uh, also randomness. Well, it's too fast. And I guess we need longer portamento time. time. Uh, maybe if we disabled the velocity sensing it altogether. Yeah, that's gonna give us a better result because I'm unable to press, you know, two notes with the same velocity and that creates a disconnection in the sound because the velocity changes when I press another key and that all influences how the distortion works so the all the sound is different and when I disable velocity sensing for the whole instrument right here in the part settings, then... Well now, uh, I guess it's just a matter of putting the right MIDI notes and hoping for the proper LFO um, setting or maybe sampling a whole bunch of your performances on this onto an audio track and cutting out what is what suits your needs. Or, instead of using the LFOs, use automation and have total control over the pitch. So I'm going to disable LFOs. Let's go here and voice LFO also. No, oh, I don't need this. I just have to just do this. We can also, yeah, all right. Uh, so I'm gonna use the pitch wheel because pitch wheel, you can modulate the pitch wheel. You can automate it within the DAW with Ardor, for example. But we need to set up how the pitch wheel is going to respond. I want to make this for the... Hello, where is it? 
Aww. I wish I could see that pitch wheel motion here. Looks like I can't. All right, so range of MIDI pitch wheel. That's probably it. Yep, that's it. However, we have some arbitrary number there. So I'm now playing with a key and the pitch wheel. But you can use automation to precisely do something that sounds like a scratch. It's hard to perform that. You see, I got better results with automation if I wanted to perform this live, because the automation created this sign-like slope that emulates the inertia of the turntable, because the turntable is very heavy. If you ever played with a real vinyl player, music player, portable, not portable, it, the turntable is heavy. If you try to push it and pull it, it it's got inertia. It's it's like uh, you're trying to stop it and it's go, going going down further, and and you're trying to reverse it and it's going uh slowly. So it takes a lot of force to actually move it quickly. So these DJs they need to either have very light turntables that are precisely did for scratching, or they I don't know they have Armstrongs or whatever. So here's some ideas. Uh, um, enjoy it. I uh, hope you liked it. If you learned something, rejoice. Uh, yeah. See you in the next one. Bye.